Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to make a Instagram panoramic using the slice tool in Photoshop. What you're going to want to start with is a wide photo. We're going to use this Beatles image because we're going to make this one for a CD and record store in their Instagram account. And we're also going to consider using the Instagram portrait mode, which is 1080 wide and 1350 tall. So if it's 1080 wide and we're looking for four panels, that means we need a workspace that is 4,320 pixels wide. Let's we'll start with a new workspace. Control new. And width, we're going to go 4320, height, is 1350. We're going to bring our resolution to web quality, and we're going to hit create. So there you go, you got your new wide workspace. If you're using an image like this sunset, let's go ahead and select that, copy, drop it in. It may take some work to line it up correctly and find a crop that you like. But since we're doing this for a CD and record store, we're going to go with the Beatles cut and hit copy. Drop it into our template. I'm going to turn this off. And the Beatles image is already lined up, but I think it's always great to start with a new workspace and the exact dimensions you're going to need. Let's start slicing. Over in View, we hit New Guide Layout, and it's already selected four. We don't want rows on. Let's make sure that's off. All these other numbers should be off. You can see your guides are laid out to create four panels and that's where the cuts are going to take place so hit OK and now we slice over here usually buried under your crop tool we want just slice tool and once you have that selected it opens up this dialog box up here and you just want slice from guides and one click is all it takes to create those slices and you can see the new numbers, one, two, three, four, for your four panels. All right, we're going to export all this. Go to File, Export, Save for Web. Make sure everything's selected. Dimensions down here. Check those one last time. And we're going to do the preset JPEG high. That's all we need for this. When you hit save, this is where you're going to choose your location and your file name. So we'll change the file name, hit save. Let's check our folder. And there's your four images. And now you're going to want to send these to your phone. Save them to your phone. Open Instagram. And once you hit new post, You'll see your images on the bottom. You'll also see a little square, and that's going to allow you to choose multiple images at the same time. And you're going to want to choose your images in order as they will appear as you swipe through them. Choose that, hit next, post. When someone views that post, they'll be able to swipe through to see the entire image. Thanks for watching today. If this helped you, please like and subscribe and see you soon.